Let me, let me just submit that at least the first step in growing towards that divine human relationship, the first event that would have allowed them access to the tree of knowledge and good and evil would have been to abstain from the tree of knowledge of good and evil and listen to the commandment of God. Had they done this, had they exercised that free will in following the commandment of God, that would have opened the path to the knowledge of good and evil for, uh, for them and to become like God's, but to have a better understanding, to have grown in that relationship with the divine. And so when we look here, now that the human has become like one of us, knowing good and evil, that let us not let them take from the tree of life and live forever. God is not afraid of a rivalry of his creation. He's not afraid that they've become gods. He set everything in place so that they could become godlike. I mean, really, as a God who created mud, he's created soil, and he's turned them into gods, is a God who has that sort of enormous power really going to rival these godlike creatures that he's created from mud? Rather, it was a graciousness on the part of the divine to say, I am going to create cre creatures who, with their will, can live and participate in the divine life. 